Grammar. I cannot thank you enough for dropping by General Grammar and spending ooh, 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 your Wednesday with me. And tonight, as you can probably tell, we're talking all about the exclamation point. So, buckle up, Grammar Goodies, because we're going to dive right into it. Whether you're with me right now on Facebook Live or a little later on on YouTube, make sure to participate in the comment section. Why? Because we're learning all about the exclamation point. And let's get it started. Woo! Just a quick overview for this evening. It's, we'll be starting with a basket breaker followed by all the information that you need to know about an exclamation point, followed by the checkout of the evening where I send you on your way. <laughs> but you know what? Forget about this overview because I want to hook you in with a little basket breaker. <laughs> Uh-oh. week's basket breaker, the question is, what makes you upset or angry? What makes you go, ugh, ugh? Let me know. Go ahead and throw it into the comment section. Again, the question is, what makes you upset or angry? Hmm, I need to think about it as well. Huh. Uh. Okay, I'll give you my answer while you're writing your answer in the comments. I would say that inefficiency, lies, and the lack of the Oxford comma in a sentence definitely make me upset. Uh, why just use the Oxford comma? Uh, uh, uh. I'll get to that another day. What did you say? I definitely want to read them. But for right now, I think it's time that we drink up some radioactive waste. <laughs> and let's get into it. Three, two, one. Tonight, as I stated, what we're talking about is the exclamation point. That ba punctuation mark that catches your attention. But what exactly is an exclamation point? An exclamation point, as shown right here, this line down with that little dot right there, line down in the dot, looks like wah. An exclamation point is used, especially after interjections, or exclamatory sentences to indicate a strong feeling or feelings. Basically, what it's saying is that you put the exclamation point after either interjections or exclamatory sentences to add that boom, that drama, that emotion. It helps emphasize that. Let's take a little deeper. You are probably asking yourselves, huh, how can an exclamation point be used? I'm so happy that you asked that question. Let me go ahead and recap it. An exclamation point can be used to end an exclamatory or also an imperative sentence in some cases. Also, an, an exclamation point is used to add emphasis to interjections or sentence fragments. It adds that, whoa, emotion and craziness behind, behind it. It captures your attention. And that's how we use an exclamation point. But uh, hold up. I have to get you reeled in with a couple of examples, right? Absolutely. 
Exclamation points add emotion, as I was telling you a little bit earlier, and emphasis to your writing. Let me go through a list of different emotions and show you how we would use an exclamation point and a sentence to convey that emotion. Let's look at this. Let's say my emotion was excitement, yeah! And the sentence is, I can't wait to go to eat these tacos, yeah! Ooh. Huh. If you see here, the exclamation point is, whoa! Adding emphasis to this about the excitement over the tacos. If I were to just put a period here, it would just be a regular statement. But by adding this exclamation point and considering the subject matter of the sentence, it adds that ball to it. Let's look at our second emotion. <gasps> Surprise! Oh, you already watched the new episode without me? So here we have an exclamation point after the oh, interjection, oh, which that interjection can definitely, definitely indicate surprise. So, oh, you already watched it without me? And then exclamation point at the very end to really reinforce that surprise. Let's look at another emotion. Astonishment. Wow. Oh, it does start with that. Wow, the sky has never looked so beautiful. Oh, my, my name is the Age of Aquarius, apparently. But here, wow, that interjection and that exclamation point show, oh, astonishment, right? And then here, this sentence, the sky has never looked so beautiful with an exclamation point at the end really drives home the astonishment about the beautiful sky. Okay, let's look at this. Emphasizing a point. So you can use exclamation points to emphasize something. Emphasize your claim. No, I do not like pineapples on my pizza. Hmm. It's true, I don't. I, I find them too. Never mind. As you can tell in this example, the no is emphasizing the point of no, 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 I don't want this or I don't like this. And then I do not like pineapples on my pizza. Right there, it's emphasizing that point. Instead of just like, I don't like pineapples on my pizza, which is just a regular declarative sentence. By adding that exclamation point to the end, it amps up that drama. I do not like pineapples on my pizza. Huh. Okay. And also, another strong emotion. Any strong emotion. And maybe it's love. Maybe it's, oh, I don't know, anger as it has down here. That new story made me so angry. Yeah. I checked Yahoo News too. The one about the real housewife's dog who got lost in traffic? Real award winner. Ugh. In summary, as you can see, we add exclamation points to our sentences or after our interjections to add drama, emphasis, and strong emotion behind our words. It's a really cool punctuation mark. However, use it sparingly. If you have too many punctuation marks that are exclamation points, then it's going to come across as informal. Hmm. Alrighty, so let's look at exclamation points that follow interjections. And we know that an interjection is a part of speech. A word or a group of words that bam, convey a strong emotion. Let's look at this one right here. Wow! Surprise or astonishment. Ouch! Ouch! Uh, pain. <laughs> I'm always in this emotion. 
No! Yuck! Ugh! And my personal favorite, whoa! Why? Because it's a whoa Wednesday. And the exclamation point at the end, right after these interjections, help, uh, helps add that whoa to it. Really reinforce it, rather than ouch, no, whoa, yuck. We get whoa! So, you definitely want to put an exclamation point right after interjections. And if you want to know a little bit more about interjections, make sure to check out episode 9, Interjections, on Mr. Goody Grammar's YouTube channel. Check it out, episode 9. Okay, okay. Now, let's talk about exclamation points and something I like to call exclamatory sentences. An exclamatory sentence is one out of the four different sentence types. And let's see how ex... What is it? Uh, what kind of punctuation mark? An exclamation point plays around with exclamatory sentences. Let me go ahead and define exclamatory sentence real quick. An exclamatory sentence is one that expresses a strong or forceful emotion, such as anger, surprise, or joy. <laughs> Any exclamatory sentence can be properly followed by, guess what, an exclamation point to add emphasis. Basically, an exclamatory sentence is a sentence that needs to convey a strong emotion or emphasize something, and it ends with an exclamation point. That's how you can remember how to use the exclamation point. Think exclamatory? Exclamation! They go together. Whoa! Let's go ahead and look, 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 look at this. Put the exclamation point at the end of a complete sentence. I won the raffle! Here, if I just, if I were to have just a period right here, it would be a declarative sentence. I won the raffle. It's just a statement. However, by putting the exclamation point at the end of the statement, it makes it an exclamatory sentence. One that is full of joy and excitement. I won the raffle. Simple as that. Let's go ahead and look at another example. No! I do not want to swim with dolphins! They are evil! In this, I put an exclamation point after no. That's a quick little interjection. I do not want to swim with dolphins! That is <laughs> expressing something called fear <laughs> and unwillingness to do something that is awful. Finally, they are evil. That expresses strong emotion like hate and disdain. And since this is so dramatic, over the top, no, I don't want to swim with dolphins. They're evil. We put exclamation points at the end of each idea to emphasize the point. Add the motion and dramas to it. Cool. Let's look at this example. Ouch! Oh, you broke my heart, Linda. Let me read it again. Ouch! Oh, you broke my heart, Linda. Oh. We know the ouch exclamation point represents, guess what, pain in terms of conveying an emotion. What about this? You broke my heart, Linda. What type of emotion is this trying to convey? The second part, you broke my heart, Linda. 
What, what type of emotion is that conveying? Go ahead and answer that in the comments section. Well, I do this! Yeah! Alrighty, what'd you say? You broke my heart, Linda. This is sadness, anger, frustration. Just, you broke my heart, Linda! Okay. So, once again, we use exclamation points to ooh, 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 emphasize different components of a sentence. Her cat is out of control! Here, if we were to just put a period right, right here, her cat is out of control. It's a regular declarative sentence. But we put an exclamation point here, so we can add that emphasis. Her cat is out of control! Using exclamation points in your writing, especially when you are writing dialogue, can really, really, really change the mood of a scene. Because by adding an exclamation point, it changes the tone or the emotion or attitude that's trying to be conveyed. Okay, let's go forward. I was surprised that he showed up on time. Here ends with an exclamation point and, huh, funny thing is, it literally says here, surprise, it does convey that emotion. So what happens is we know that the narrator or the writer was surprised. And by adding this exclamation point to the end of it, it adds emphasis to that emotion. Surprise that he showed up on time. Once again, you're seeing the rhetorical effects of using an exclamation point. Woo! Now, whew, let's pause for a second. Here's what I want you to do, Grammar Goodies. In order to make sure you whoa, get this concept down, boom, you have to practice. So here's what I want you to do. In the comments, write an original exclamatory sentence. Remember, an exclamatory sentence is a complete thought, a complete sentence that expresses an emotion of some kind or adds emphasis. Therefore, in the comments section, whether you're with me right now on Facebook Live or a little later on on YouTube, participate. Write an exclamatory sentence in the comments section. Keep in mind, if your exclamatory sentence is grammatically correct and it, guess what, makes me <laughs> laugh, I'll give you a shout out in an upcoming episode. So take a second and boom, jump into that practice. Will I drink water? <laughs> Alrighty, I think that's enough practice time. Let's go forward. Now I want to talk about something that gets a little uh, exclamation points and quotation marks. Many writers get really confused about punctuation when it comes to quotation marks. Does the exclamation point go within the quotation marks or outside? It's like, what? Well, tonight we're going to go over that. So let's get that part started. Here's the thing. If a sentence ends with quoted material and an exclamation point that is placed inside the closing quotation mark, if it's a part of the original sentence. Oh, Mr. Goody Grammar, what does that even mean? Let me go ahead and simplify it. Basically, what this is saying is, if your sentence ends with a direct quote, so you have the quotation marks at the end, and the original quote ended with a punctuation mark, 
of an exclamation point, you're going to keep the exclamation point within the quotes. Again, if a sentence ends with a direct quote, and part of that direct quote is an exclamation point at the end, then you keep that exclamation point where it's at, and you don't have to add a period. Let me show you. The president's speech both began and ended with the word FREEDOM! In this case, we know that the text ended with the word freedom and an exclamation point. This was a part of the original speech. Therefore, the exclamation point is going to go within the quotes. Because the quote is not only ending the sentence, but it also has the exclamation point from its original material, its original source. Let's look at another example. Jen had some surprising information. The Loch Ness Monster enjoys monster energy drinks. Let me reread that for you. Jen had some surprising information. The Loch Ness Monster enjoys energy drinks. In this example, it ends with a direct quote. And this direct quote ended in an exclamation point. So we would put the exclamation point inside the quotes because it's a part of the original quotation. We're not going to put it outside. Mm -mm. If it is a part of the original quote. You don't want to cast it aside? Let's go ahead and look at some more. In the comments section, that is. It's time to practice. Here's what I want you to do. In the comments, write an original sentence where a direct quote that has an exclamation point in it ends the sentence. Simple as that. You can, of course, create your own quote as well. But let me reiterate this. What you're going to do to practice this concept is write an original sentence that ends with a direct quote and an exclamation point, and then boop, plop it on into the comment section. Whoa! Pretty straightforward, right? And this is very similar to what we went over last week, all about periods and quotation marks. How do we use them? And they have very, 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 very similar rules. All right, sweet. So while you're doing that, I think it's time that we ask for some employee assistance. <laughs> we need some employee assistance. All right. So for this week's employee assistance, I'm going to give you different sentences. I'm going to bestow these sentences to you. What I want you to do is read each sentence carefully and determine where you should add an exclamation point and or other punctuation marks. Basically, you'll be given a sentence and many of them lack punctuation. It's up to you to read the sentence or sentences and add punctuation marks where they're necessary. Think you could do that? <laughs> I know you can. So in the comments section, make sure to rewrite the sentence correctly in the comments. Feel free to pause me at any point to write the sentence. That way you'll have it up on the screen. So, as we do this, make sure to pause me, write the correct sentence into the comment section. This helps practice writing skills in general. All right, let's get it started. She looked at me and screamed, Do not lie to me! 
punctuate the sentence. Again, it's, she looked at me and screamed, Do not lie to me! Punctuate it. And again, pause me here. It, you need to reread the sentence so you can type it into the comments. And if you're doing that, I guess I'll go ahead and give you the answer. She looked at me and screamed, comma, don't lie to me, exclamation point, end of quote. You'll notice in this example that the sentence ends with a direct quote. And inside the direct quote, since it ended with an exclamation point, we're going to, boom, keep the exclamation point within the quotation marks because it's a part of the original direct quote. And we put a comma here to offset this, boom, from the direct quote, which I believe you can <laughs> study up on that on Whoa Wednesday 26 about commas and quotes. All right, let's move forward. Punctuate the sentence. Wow! You cannot even do one deadlift. Let me reread this for you. Wow! You cannot even do one deadlift. <laughs> Ow. How would you punctuate it? Pause me right now and rewrite the sentence in the comment section. <sighs> okay, since you paused me, I'm going to go forward. The answer to this question is, wow, exclamation point. You cannot even do one deadlift. This is incredibly condescending. Ugh. And here we have an exclamation point. Ooh, the boopy boopies. See, I get too gassy and excited from, guess what? Grammar, exclamation points, right? Here. Wow! Exclamation point. You're putting an exclamation point right after an interjection. Okay, let's go to our next example. Punctuate the sentence. Help me! Commander Irwin, I need you to save me from the Titans. Make sure to watch Attack on Titans. So, Attack on Titans. Help me, Commander Irwin. I need you to save me from the Titans. What do you think? How would you punctuate this? There are a couple ways to do it, but you decide. Huh. And while you're thinking, I'll go ahead and go to the future with the answer. Help me, Commander Irwin, comma. I need you to save me from the Titans. Okay, help me, first of all. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely, definitely followed up by an exclamation point because it is emphasizing the emotion of fear and being trapped or something of the sort. Commander Irwin offset it with a comma. I need you to save me from the Titans. That's true. So, once again, we're using exclamation points to really build that drama. Let's go to the next one. Wrong. Wrong. Are you going to get this wrong? Or will you get it right? Punctuate this for me. Huh. If you put... Wrong! You're absolutely correct, not wrong. <laughs> I'm disappointed in myself. Once again, you're seeing boop, 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 an exclamation point after an interjection. Wrong! <laughs> like my parents always told me growing up. <laughs> Let's go to the next example. Punctuate the sentence. Lacey stood up and yelled, I'm the best musician that the world has ever seen. 
How would you punctuate this? Lacey stood up and yelled, I am the best musician that the world has ever seen. Let me know. Retype the sentence with the correct punctuation marks and plop it into the comment section. Let's see if you got it. And while you do that, I'll go ahead and give you the answer. Lacey stood up and yelled, I am the best musician that the world has ever seen. I put a period there just to throw you off. But if Lacey was yelling this, demanding this, yeah, proclaiming it, I can put an exclamation point there. Both works. Both work. Wow, Mr. Goody Grammar, what is speech and language? Okay, so how'd you do on that? I think you did pretty well. Again, whether you're with me right now on Facebook Live or a little later on on YouTube, participate in the comment section. And now it's time that I deal out the aisle check of the evening. All righty, for this week's aisle check, here's what you're gonna do. Please write one original sentence. Your sentence needs to use an exclamation point because guess what? That's what we went over tonight. Once you're done with that, go ahead and post it into the comment section. Put simply, write an original sentence that ends in an exclamation point. Pretty straightforward, right? And really push that emotion. <laughs> Pick any emotion of your choice and really emphasize it with that exclamation point. Keep in mind, the funniest sentences get shout outs in the upcoming episodes. So make them great. Alrighty, and now, my least favorite part of the evening. It's time to check out. Can't get enough general grammar? Make sure to sign up on www.mrgoodygrammar.com to become a grammar goodie. There, you'll receive extended episodes, guided notes, worksheets, PowerPoints, quizzes, and so much more. Also, follow us doing Whoa Wednesday live streams on Facebook, random dances on TikTok, and handing out grammar challenges on Instagram. With all these resources, you can't help but have the best time learning about English grammar. Whoa! Upcoming, 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 just to remind you of all the incredible things we have going on at General Grammar. We have Word of the Week every Sunday, live sessions every Wednesday, also known as Whoa Wednesdays, content episodes regularly, sentence shoutouts regularly, and also, what do you want me to teach you? Let me know in the comment section. I want to do so many crazy concepts, so make sure to put it in there. There is tons of things are tons of things. I speak languages. There are tons of incredible things coming up at General Grammar. So make sure to get ready. Grab your sippy cup and buckle up for it. Reminder, you can follow us on all our social media platforms, which include Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, oh, YouTube, and of course, www.mrgoodygrammar.com where you can sign up for exclusive content. What that is? <laughs> Shh. I won't tell. You'll have to go to www.mrgoodygrammar.com Alrighty. Emotions! Exclamation point. Well, Grammar Goodies, I hope you had the best time ever on this Whoa, Wednesday, and that you really learned how to express your emotions. <laughs> anyway, my name is Mr. Goody Grammar.
Thanks again for dropping by General Graham. And come in anytime. I'll see ya.